Hello Amiga fans, today I want to equip this Amiga 1200 with new capacitors. As you all already know, the old capacitors tend to leak the electrolyte after almost 25 years. This electrolyte then damages the circuit board and adjacent components. I will use so-called ceramic capacitors for the Amiga. Many of these smaller capacitors can be replaced with these ceramic capacitors. Because ceramic capacitors do not use electrolyte and therefore they can never leak. Unfortunately, there are also some larger capacitors of 470 microfarads and 1000 microfarads in this Amiga. Here we have to use alum aluminum capacitors again, but fortunately there is an elegant way to use so-called organic polymer aluminum capacitors. These capacitors have a solid instead of liquid electron, therefore they can never leak. Unfortunately, they cost about 10 times more than ordinary electrolyte capacitors. But what wouldn't you do for your beloved Amiga, right? So first of all, let's uh, open this device and look inside and uh, let's check out also if there's some leakage already and yeah. As you can see, the old capacitors are not completely worn out here. It looks very nice, uh, but uh, we can't say for sure until we unsolder the old uh, parts here. Uh, because sometimes you can't see the damage. Most of the time the leaked electrolyte is underneath the component and you can't see them. Uh, you can't see the damage until you remove the components. Um, the electrolyte is also usually transparent, so it is very hard to see them on the board. So, uh, let's start to unsolder the first components and uh, let's see what's uh, underneath. I use a little bit of flux and uh, I use also a little bit of fresh solder here to be, make it easy uh, to run solder these uh, components with my desoldering gun. So, fortunately, no electrolyte leaked here. Nevertheless, we make the pads nice and clean and we'll wet it with fresh shoulder again. And we'll install my new organic polymer capacitors here.
Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to remove so uh, components, but uh, take your time and uh, make it uh, not so fast because you can damage the components or even the pads. Also here, uh, there are no uh, electrolyte, so no leakage here. Perfect. And here are the new capacitors. Let's uh, take it in. Uh, it looks very nice. As I say, uh, these capacitors will never leak and you will not have this problem with leaked uh, electrolyte anymore in this Amiga. So after Finishing the first part, uh, let's uh, continue with the ceramic capacitors and um, I have here a bunch of uh, small value capacitors. Uh, I choose um, 1210 co uh, case size of uh, these capacitors to be make it uh, all the same size and uh, yeah, it looks nice when all, all the same have the same size. Because um, I want to use a heat gun, I try to protect the uh, parts uh, nearby uh, the capacitors I have to remove with aluminum foil. And um, Yeah, it uh, works very fine. Uh, I prefer to use a heat gun here instead of a soldering iron because uh, you don't risk to damage uh, the pads uh, when you use a heat gun. Uh, I think uh, yeah, it's the best choice. You have to care about, uh, of course, uh, that you not uh, burn uh, some components. That's why I use here capped on tape protect them so a little bit more flux and um, clean the pads with new fresh solder. So I use here um, solder paste. Uh, it's the easiest way, in my opinion. Uh, it's really uh, low temperature paste, so you can uh, use a heat gun very easily and uh, as I say you don't risk to damage any uh, pads here. Place the component, use the heat gun very gently and voila! Looks perfect! Nice and clean work. So we go further and do the same with the other uh, capacitors. Uh, so clean the pads, place the part, use the heat gun, use the solder paste and so on. After every solder, uh, I check with my multimeter if I have a short circuit or shortcut to be sure that uh, there are no problems. So, and here is the finish worked. Now, I will clean this board with a contact uh, PCB cleaner and uh, rinse them down with a 
IPA and it will be a shiny new board again and uh, let's build it uh, back in the case and let's give it a try if everything work well Close the case. And here we are. The whole work uh, takes me uh, two hours and um, the moment of truth. Let's turn the machine on and let's see if everything works well. And here we are. Everything works perfect. Work done. Thank you for watching guys. Um, as you see, uh, the picture quality is uh, now more crispy and uh, yes, perfect. I'm so happy to finish this work with no issues. Nice. Yes, thank you for watching guys. Uh, if you like uh, these kind of uh, videos, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a comment. And uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.